It's Bonnie. Happy Saturday. I am back. Oh my gosh, you guys. So much to review here. I was going to do a body care, but I think I'm going to save that for later because I really want to talk about the fortune teller, witch hand, water globe, light up <laughs> for Math and Body Works. Because I know a lot of people may have gotten the 20% off coupon and they're trying to decide what to buy. So, oh my goodness, you guys, this is a very unusual piece. I actually like it. It's got some terrible reviews, though. So Bath & Body Works for Halloween usually does um, some water globes. That's kind of the thing. Last year, remember we had the eyeball? I'm actually going to, at some point like show like all of oh my gosh you guys I have so much Bath and Body Works stuff now um but I want to show like some of the other pieces so right now um this is basically the only water globe in town I think they might bring another water globe out because remember last year we had the one with the cemetery uh with the little bats it would not surprise me if a little bit later in the season um you see another one remember um late comer i think it was last year the year before that 99 dollar rotating skull head that had the thunder and the lightning um so we could see another water globe at some point so this one is called the fortune teller water globe it is how much uh, $69.95, but if you have the 20% off coupon today, which I wish I had <laughs> when I bought that, so I'm like, darn it, uh, $69.95 minus 20%, it's going to take it down to $55, which is still pricey. I mean, Bath & Body Works Halloween stuff is going to have a big price tag on it. Um, what was interesting is the batteries were in this thing when it arrived. I was really surprised. So I went to put my batteries in and it didn't work the other day because one of the batteries was kind of popped out, which is why it didn't turn on. But I don't think I've ever seen a Bath & Body Works product arrive with batteries, which was odd. So this one has got um, the bottom switch. I'm going to show you the light up feature in a minute. I don't like the bottom switches. The problem with the bottom switch is that when you have a candle on it and you've got it in your display, um, you have to actually take the candle off, pick it up, turn it on. It's just kind of annoying. I like the ones, actually the pumpkin um, has the button on the side. I think the tree did last year too. I like the button. I mean, if we're gonna pay $69 for this stuff, we should get um, a side um, on and off switch because it makes it easier. So I'm gonna show you the detail on this one. So the bottom, this is all plastic. Um, the bottom has got like a gray um, kind of decorative design. It's pretty. And then we've got like, this reminds me of like a county fair or something. It like, remember in the, the movie Big with Tom Hanks? Uh, like it reminds me of something hokey like that. Uh, the green um, rhinestones on the plastic gold it's got like the ruffle, which is supposed to be like the shirt. And then the top has got the same gray. I think it's spider webs. They're kind of like a scroll. And then you're going to set the candle on top, which by the way, this candle doesn't look bad, by the way. So the weird part of this are the witch hands. I almost wish they had only put one witch hand on this because this thing is just bizarre. It just looks like it was poorly designed. Um, from this angle, you can't even tell that they're hands. It just looks weird. And then it looks even weirder <laughs> from this angle. I'm like, what the heck? So there's no ring here. Uh, the hands are cheap plastic. Uh, the hokey purple nail polish. I like this side better because at least, you know, the ring kind of matches. If I'm displaying this thing... This is how it's getting displayed. So I think this is okay. But I don't know why Bath & Body Works keeps doing um, these cheap plastic uh, like witch fingers. I wish these had been a better quality. Remember last year on the um, the Apple light up? Oh, it's horrible. Um, so I, I, I'm not crazy about this. I don't know. It just, it looks hokey. Um, so when you turn it on, the neat thing about when you turn it on, so there's like an opaque... Um, it looks neat because it's like a crystal ball. So when it's off, I think it actually looks pretty. 
This part I like. I just don't like. I, I just wish I could like remove the hand. <laughs> so watch when I turn it on. What happens? So we've got pink. And you're not going to see it as well probably on my screen, but you can see the color change. Uh, you've got green, and then it changes to um, kind of like a bright pink. So it's like purple, green, pink, and then it's going back to like green. But there's like some bluish in there uh, when the colors change, but it's basically kind of back and forth between like a pink and and a green is what it's doing. But you know, in the different light, you get kind of different angles. I kind of like that light up feature. I'm like, that's kind of cool. Um, remember, I don't know, I still have that one in the basement. Uh, there was a spider um, water glove and it had like this cool, like opaque. It does make it look more like a crystal ball. So the question is, is it worth $69? I'm gonna go with a no. Um, I think, I really wish Bath and Body Works would do these at a more reasonable price. I mean, Cracker Barrel stuff was a lot more um, in the price range that I felt like was affordable. They had a lot of good stuff for $39.95. These are going to be, you know, people that really like the Bath and Body Works collectibles, or if you can get them with a coupon, 20% off is going to take this down to a more reasonable $55, but still a big investment. I mean, a lot of people do not want to spend that much money on a Halloween decoration. So I'm kind of curious how well um, these fly off the shelves. I know a lot of people um, like me are kind of obsessed and I get them to review, of course, but if you're putting this in your Bath and Body Works budget, uh, you're kind of like, yeah, that's a little pricey for one item. So um, let me know what you think of this. Like I said, down the road, um, I'm still gathering all of my Halloween stuff. By the way, I'm still eating my giant 2.5 uh, pound bag of candy corn. <laughs> I can't stop eating candy corn, you guys. I'm obsessed. I love candy corn. Um, we will be doing a giant Halloween video. I need to do, it's gonna be like a 45 minute video because there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. I have to get everything lined up. This is gonna be a major production to do all of Halloween. I'm waiting on so many things. So, um, let me know what you think of the fortune teller, you know, it is heavy. I'll have to say it's heavy. Um, but you know, it's expensive. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you like it? Is it hokey? Is it weird? Are you going to buy it? <laughs> I will be back later. We're going to talk, um, more about body care, I think, later. I might not be on till a little bit later in the evening. I don't know. I'll have to see if I can sneak another video in. I got so much to review, you guys. Oh, it's starting to rain again. <laughs> it's getting spooky out again. Anyway, I'll see you guys soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.